Hey everybody, Troy coming back at you with another video. I have a question for you guys, especially for those who stockpile ammo. Do you even out your ammo stockpile? And I'll show you some examples here in a minute. If you have an odd amount of boxes in your stockpile of a certain ammo, does that bother you enough to where you have to go out and buy that other box just to make it even? Or if you have an ammo can uh, with the same type of ammo in it and it's just missing one or two boxes out of it will you go out of your way to buy those few boxes to fill it up so let me show you some examples that are bothering me and that I want to go out and purchase some ammo to get it to what I call evening it out alright so here's my little gun and ammo corner that I have and I'm gonna do a video sometime this week about this particular area that I have but I made a video of a while back about how I took these CD DVD racks that I had and made it as a gun and ammo display but getting to the ammo itself things that I think that need to be evened out that I just can't stand and as you can see here with the tool ammo that one section right there is all full looks fantastic and then I get right there and I just see those two empty spaces and it just bugs me so much that I I just feel that I have to go out and get those two boxes of ammo and if you look down the line everything else looks even and it's a even amount and then if you come over here to the 7.62 by 39 ammo this section is full, but then boom, right there, that section is not. Now these up here are what we all purchase at Walmart. It's the 7.62 by 39, and they're the full metal jackets. Now these here I purchased at a gun shop and got a really good price. These are the 7.62 by 39, but these are hollow points. And so I got 500 rounds. So there's 500 rounds there, and so that's an even amount. But just seeing and knowing that there is two, four, six, seven boxes missing out of that section really does bother me. And then down here, you'll see some other tool ammo, but that is the regular full metal jackets, and I don't want to stick them on top of the, the hollow points. And then if you see here with the 7.62 by 39, the Wolf Military Classic, that's also a box of 500 that I purchased at a gun show and so I'm okay with that right now of course this really bothers me this uh, Winchester 7.62 by 39 but that stuff's expensive uh, I'm not gonna go out and buy another box of that just to even that out I'll probably end up by just shooting that and then of course we have the American Eagle uh, green tips which I have six boxes of those now this is the one that's bothering me right now as you saw up here, there's two, four, six, eight. There's ten boxes of ZQI SS109, and then I have a full case of SS109 that I showed not too long ago. But then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's nine of them here, so I, I just feel that I have to purchase that one last one to get it to an even ten boxes there. And so with the forty that are there, and then the ten that are up here. And then the other nine, and then if I get one more, that'll be 60 boxes, and that's where I, I call it that we would be evening it out. And the same thing goes for if you have an ammo can. If you open up an ammo can and you see that you're missing one to fill it, or you have an odd number uh, like I have uh, up here in the corner, I would have to make sure that I go out and even it out and, and make sure there's an even enough amount of ammo or that ammo can is full. So what do you guys think? Do you do the same thing as I do? Do you have to even out your ammo stockpile and have an even amount or make sure that you if you have an, an ammo can and it's missing one or two boxes do you have to go out and buy those one or two to make sure that the can is full? So let me know in the comments if that's what you guys do too as well. And you guys know the drill if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed it's so much easier to subscribe to the channel. Just go right to the end of the video and hit subscribe. And as always, thank you so very much for watching the MTH channel. And I will see you guys next time.